Every summer, the Arizona State Sun Devils head 100 miles north of Tempe to Camp Tontazona for a week of training camp. Pistol, pistol, 15 key. Pistol, pistol, 15 key. This season, the Sun Devils' new offensive coordinator, Billy Napier, has brought his experience from humble beginnings in the south to the desert. So you are born in Cookville, Tennessee, grew up in Georgia. Tell me about Billy Napier as a kid. What was it like growing up in your house? Yeah, I'm the oldest of four and grew up kind of right there in that small town community in northwest Georgia where, you know, my dad was the coach, uh, uh, able to observe him make a tremendous impact in young people. And, and that was uh, what kind of gave me that calling to be a coach, and, and that's why I chose the profession. Good. That's it. That's a good-looking football play. Send the threes. Let's go. Train close. I saw you say that, that Billy was the perfect choice for you guys. Why? You know, when I went into the thing, I had a lot of, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to win the press conference when I hire somebody. I want to find the right fit for us at, this, at the right time. And uh, I think without a doubt, we, we, uh, I feel good about that decision. He assimilated to the Sun Devils quickly. Within weeks of arriving in Tempe, Napier shared a very personal story with the team. He brought us all in. Um, we started talking all football stuff. And then he just stopped for a second because we were talking about, you know, guys waking up in the morning when we got to get up at five o'clock and come to practice. And he just said, you know, you guys are freaking blessed, man. And, you know, he started getting teary eyed and he said, you know, like my dad is dealing with ALS and that joker gets up every day. And when, you know, his arm stops working or something like that, guess what? He makes up for it. Billy Napier's father, Bill Napier was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, in the summer of 2013. So he spoke to us about his pops in one of the first meetings that he was ever there, so I think that was a big step for us. He was choked up, so it's something that's important to us now. And to see the love he had for his father, um, that, was, that was very special. That was probably the most difficult year of my life. Once we came to grips with that, we saw how Dad handled that, and pers the perspective that he kept. It kind of kind of recentered us as a family. You know, we were able to really verify who we were and what we were about, uh, and it became a strength. All right, here we go. One up right here on the side. He's a guy that is, without giving many speeches, just how he's operated very quickly has earned the respect of our players, and I've, I've been very impressed with him. Great. Who was the Z? Who was the Z? Who was the Z? I think Daniel. Good job. What he did was he made himself vulnerable instead of, you know, having an ego and being somebody who is, you know, just thinks they're just a guy and, you know, nobody can tell them anything. He let it so that we could see that side of him and, you know, it's just amazing to see that. Be grateful for the things that you have because someday you might wake up and be in that position and, you know, today there's millions and millions of people that would love to be where we are. Four years after his initial diagnosis, the elder Bill Napier is still battling. His story, a continuing source of inspiration for the Napier family, and now the ASU community. Compete now, let's go. Every rep's a competitive rep. What has his message been to you throughout this? Well, no excuses, you know, make a difference. Um, sometimes you gotta reflect, you gotta wake up and realize how good you got it. Um, so we're blessed, man. We got uh, life in front of us, we're healthy, and we got opportunity. Uh, so, you know, that perspective uh, is what it's given me, you know, and I think so many people uh, would say the same thing.